Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Block Center. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right there and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. So I'm to drop a new banger, a new exclusive video, you will definitely be notified. So Krubat Pulev has vowed a brutal beating for coward Anthony Joshua. I mean, Fulev is of course right now, I mean, <laughs> biting Monet King Shield. So he said, I quote, I think it's obvious because he's afraid. I don't see any other reason to demand it happen in London. We offered various destinations from Istanbul to Las Vegas, New York or Saudi Arabia. And then I got a reply that Joshua would come up against me only in London. Otherwise, there would be no fight at all. And of course, I agreed to this condition. I'm not concerned about the place. For example, I never asked for the fight to be in Sofia from day one. I wanted it to take place at a neutral venue as this would be fair to both sides. There is no such thing as an ideal location for a true fighter. He can fight everywhere and he is not worried about anything. Picking a certain destination is for cowards, for those who prefer to talk a lot rather than act. I can think of at least two others who fit this description and who have refused to come to Sofia to face me, Dillian White and Jeremy Miller. I am I, I'm way more precise than him as well as much smarter boxer and I will beat him brutally. Pulev vowed <laughs> i love in chinese man let me just of course go straight to it uh hola gide your quick take on this you know statement from yeah, kubert pulev mm. well you see you should not just say it's good for Levis to pull Levis to walking this way to be honest. Let him do the walking but one thing I can I'm just gonna say is I don't I don't really care what he says to be honest for me personally because the thing is when you do the walking get ready to do the do when the time comes. Because we all this has been saying now if the time comes and he's unable to do all he's been saying. Shame on him. I'm not gonna say more on that. If the time comes and he's unable to do the two, as he's been saying, and that they shame on him. So, he may believe a couple of fighters believe okay with the way AJ fought last year. To them, they believe okay, I think this is just gonna be fighting now. You don't know what AJ is gonna turn up to you. But if you're stuck in this way, when the time comes, he must do what he says. I'll leave it there. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, Todd Jagway. Yeah, man. What's your take on Kubrat Pulev's statement? <clears throat> Kubrat Pulev, man. Uh, this guy has been going on ever, uh, ever since this coronavirus has started. He personally believes he can take care of Anthony Joshua beat him, bat batter him, uh, you know, just beat him up. And I laugh at that. Because I would, I'm not mad at him. He just wants um, his share of that AJ, Anthony Joshua money that everybody, everybody else has claimed. It's his turn to claim it. So you have to look at it. Pulev is not going to back down. You know, he's going to talk crap. Because he wants to, he wants to sell the fight. He has to sell the fight. You know, um, ever since AJ, it's funny how the cockroaches come out. Ever since AJ lost, you know, they think they have the blueprint to beat AJ. Rito and Pulev is one of them. He literally thinks he has the blueprint to beat him. 
And I'm telling every fan out there, watch what happens when AJ gets in that ring. You're going to be surprised at what he does to Pulev. It's it's going to it's going to be simply amazing because Pulev thinks uh AJ is going to fight one way, but uh AJ is going to fight a different way. I guarantee you that. And that's going to be the outcome of the fight by the time he knows it. There's nothing he can do about it. I think Pulev should um should not get in the way of AJ because you know they offer they want to offer him step aside money so he could fight Tyson Fury. Same goes for same goes for Wilder. Uh, he I believe he did say oh him and Wilder are not going to take the step aside money just because you know he feels he feels that. His opportunity is right now, especially with AJ. And if that opportunity ever slips up, that will be the end. So he can't stay mad at him. He's only trying to do what he feels is right, and that is going after AJ at any means necessary. And that's where I'm going to end it. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. I mean, looking at a statement from Pulev, I mean. For him to say Joshua is afraid is a little bit ironic in a way, and for him to say that Joshua only wanted the fight to be to take place in London, and anywhere else there will be no fight. I mean that is of course of course uh, outrageous if you look at it. But I believe Joshua. I mean he is doing that, or he did that, or his team demanded that because he wants to take it back to to, to the UK. Like I mean. His last um, two fights, okay, has been outside the UK, and it is what it is like. And also, he wants to feel um, the crowd again because taking it to Saudi Arabia again might make a lot of money, but not that too much money to make Joshua feel like okay, I'm not like satisfying the fans, you know. Because remember, from day one, he got a lot of support you support from the uk and uh, they just want to you know satisfy the british and f f f british fans because not everybody can afford a trip to saudi arabia because if you're in nigerian i mean going to you could go into the uk is definitely more easier in a way than going to saudi arabia especially for an event you know because saudi arabia you have to spend a lot of money like you can have an uh, uh, you can have a sibling there for me now if i'm going to the uk to watch a joshua fight it will be easier for me because I could basically just ring up one of the guys there and say, listen, I won't crash at your place and words and stuff, you know, or ring one of my family members and all that stuff. But in Saudi Arabia, I have no one to like, maybe I have a friend, I have a friend there, but the guy don't, the guy don't stay in, uh, in, in, in the part, he doesn't stay in Riyadh, you know? So like traveling to the UK, Saudi Arabia, like which one is easier for fans worldwide? The UK. That's just how it is, man. So, guys, if you're watching right now, make sure you like the video, share, subscribe as usual. We give you guys nothing but bangers. Stay blessed, guys.